Hey y'all, Baltoids here. I'm Kiana. And I'm Kenya. And welcome back to our channel. <laughs> so guys, we are so excited because we have a very special guest with us today. Y'all, it's, it's none other than the infamous Pastor Fred. Don't you know? <laughs> Tell everyone about you. Hey, I am the Bath Fred, the medium Bath Fred. I am here with these lovely ladies, and we're going to be talking about some various things all in one subject. You've never heard that before, have you? We're going to talk about a lot of things, but one thing. But I'm just glad to be here, so hey, let's get into it. I'm just glad to be here. Yes, so guys, we're so excited for this video that we have for you guys. But before we proceed, we do want to remind you to go on ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already. I mean, come on, for real. Like, if you tune it in, then what are you waiting for? Like, so subscribe. <laughs> also, go on ahead and click the bell so that you are notified whenever we post a new video. <laughs> So y'all, we about to get ready to get right on into it. Yes. Y'all know what it is. Hey, let's get it. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey, let's go. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So this video is going to be about what not to say to twins. Kenya and I get some very unique questions. Yes, we do. Crazy questions from people. So this is gonna be what not to say to twins. Natural hair edition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when people look at you guys, do they say things like, how do you how does your head feel when she combs her hair? Oh Lord, she really <laughs> So does your head hurt if her scalp is pulled back? Oh my gosh. If the scalp is pulled back too far? <laughs> so really? Before you guys ever became natural, mm -hmm. I mean I'm you know, you may have used perms back in the day. Mm -hmm. So if the perm was too hot on your <laughs> head, did you fit it on your head? Sure. Sure. <laughs> it's yeah, per part. Permetius. Permetius. <laughs> Permetius, y'all, that's a new word. Yes. Twins hair burning. Oh, simultaneously. Right. <laughs> no, so what happened one time, Kenya was getting a relaxer, right? This is when we were very young, guys. My mom was perming her hair downstairs in the kitchen, and I was upstairs sleeping. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I had a dream that my scalp was on fire, and I ran downstairs to the kitchen, and I was like, Mommy, my scalp! questions like if I pinch her right will she feel it and that's absolutely not the case oh, so, yeah. it is absolutely absurd you don't feel her pain no okay so sometimes what we I do will say, yes we feel each other's pain in dream we can have a dream about each other in pain and we kind of wake up and feel it that way mm -hmm. or we feel emotional pain from each other and that's just because we have I don't know if you guys know anything about twins, but twins have a very, very close bond. We share a womb. I bet if y'all, if one of y'all got burned by a straightening comb. Oh, God, I don't want to feel that. I think everybody knows how to feel that. It's funny when you hear that. That's it. It sounded like chicken. Exactly. Well, thankfully, we have not used a straightening comb in I don't know how long because we've been yeah. natural for forever. We've been burned before by that straightening comb. Thanks a lot, Mom. Like you said, outside of hair, what are some questions that people shouldn't? I mean, some things that are just outlandish. People now, in this culture, in this time, people say anything. They don't say anything. And they don't you mean. just, you know, it blows my mind some of the questions that people ask. And, you know, it's just like them asking, well, how did you get fat? How do you think I got fat? <laughs> I'm just walking down the road, fat just jumped on me. <laughs> <laughs> this took work. <laughs> so, I, so, what are some, some, some things that people ask out of this story? This is one of the things that people usually will come up to us and say, like friends or something like that. So they'll walk up to Kiana and they'll say something like, so do you remember what I told you last week? Right. 
and they know that they told me. They know it, there's no mix up whatsoever. But for whatever reason, they think that through twin telepathy or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like whatever it is that they tell me automatically gets I'm like supposed to know. Telepathized. <laughs> you know, I have an inner tape recorder. Exactly. <laughs> and I'll touch fingers. <laughs> I'll touch fingers. <laughs> right. Give me your information from yesterday. Give me your memories. Right. Exactly. Don't it's work like that. Don't <laughs> work like that. Don't, Don't work like that. that. <laughs> Stop asking. It's not smart. It's <laughs> not. So do, do y'all wear the same shoe size? We do wear the same shoe size. Oh, uh, they said they're the same. <laughs> right. And our shoe size is seven and a half. Just in case y'all want to see. Just in case y'all want to see. Oh no, so long. Hey. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Every day I'm hustling. Day I'm hustling. Day I'm hustling. <laughs> so what would you, you tell twins? If, if a twin, one was maybe permed and the other one was natural, uh -huh. you know, would there be some difference? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, does the bond go that deep to where, you know, different hairstyles would make a difference? So I'd say yes and no. I think it's up to the twins though. A lot, like, so my sister and I, growing up, we really wanted to be different. That's sort of how my mom raised us. So she never dressed us alike or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But. As far as hairstyles were concerned, Kenya and I did wear our hair a lot of life growing up. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a twin who chooses to be natural and then one chooses to be perm, the advice that I would give to them is be yourself yeah. and embrace what you've chosen. Embrace the decision that you've made. Um, now, could they still look alike with one being natural and one having perm hair? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. just straighten your hair, you know? I guess that's kind of what were the natural thing comes in is being yourself, you know, expressing yourself. Mm -hmm. Because I know I got a lot of friends that are natural and they get they get a bum deal sometimes. Oh. Because some people don't know how to separate natural and natural. And nappy. You know? <laughs> 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 Listen, sometimes, I have seen that. Sometimes that natural, natural, <laughs> that, it, it, that it, 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 it kind of crossed <laughs> up. The uh, lines blurred. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> you know, I'm, you know, I'm, some people good with their nappy. You, you, you do yours. I, I just don't like my head to hurt. I just, you know. Yeah, all men don't like the nappy. Right. So, so there's a difference. There, there is a huge difference. But well, we choose not to say nappy, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we like well, to say nappy. Nappy not sexy. Nappy not sexy. Nappy ain't sexy. It's going to be raw when you're trying to embrace her and talk to her. Your, <laughs> and like your hand is stuck in her head. Right. Like, it's just not going to be good. It's just not, not sexy at all. So we like to relate nappy mm -hmm. to untamed. Oh, I don't yeah. think African Americans have nappy, or just naturals in general, have nappy hair. Now, if it's untamed, or unkept, yes, or unkept then yes, that could be very unattractive. So, <laughs> untamed. So, some people's hair need to be whipped. <laughs> Like your hair is disobedient. Right into submission. Disobedient. Your hair need to be in timeout. Exactly. Exactly. I know some folk girls. I do too. If I was in timeout, why is on their head? Why is on their head? In timeout. That's what we're going to talk about next. Y'all was out walking around the jump pants to her hair looking like that. That is not oh, cool. There's going to be a law against that. Yes. Put your slot cap or something on. Yes. Make yourself look presentable. Jesus. Because look and see. Look and see tonight. It just, just to come and speak with you. It, I, it's not, it's not a, it's not a whole lot of time. You know, but I know that in the natural thing, that, you know, it has to be the right products. And all, and all those type, type of things, you know, you gotta yes. get all that together. Mm -hmm. So you gotta make an investment in yes. yourself. Yes. You got to, you got to get the right stuff. And and, and you know, I learned something in life is everybody do what they want to do. That's true. Mm -hmm. So you can't be saying, oh, I'm not gonna. That's you can't be cheap when it comes to your head. No, you sure cannot. Ooh, yeah, we got a witness here saying. Hey. <laughs> We, we see your head too. We see it yes, too. We do. You know, when you put the wrong stuff on your head, and you lay up in the bed itching all night. <laughs> that ain't attractive. Or doing a black girl pat. No black girl. Pat your feet, ladies. But products are very important. 
So one of the things that Kiana and I do is we do product reviews on our channel mm -hmm. for natural hair. And everybody's hair type is going to be different. And so you want to make sure that you figure out what your hair type is so that you can figure out what types of products to use. So if there are any of our naturalistas that are out there watching this video. Naturalista. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the Vault Twist channel, y'all, because we got some product reviews on there for y'all. Yes. Right. And everybody, listen, you, you got to know that these young ladies are investing their time to help you. Mm -hmm. And when people want to help you, you got to let them help you. Yes. So you to make sure that you and your friends, I'll tell you, mama, I'll okay. tell you, hey. Hey. tell you, coming back again, coming hey. back again, mama, hey. and, and your friends. friends. Hey. So if you know some natural hair people in your family or at your job, mm -hmm. you know, you walk past them every day and you just say, oh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Direct them to the Vaughn twins so they can get, you know, some tutorials, oh, some yeah. stuff, you know, to help them, you know, so you gonna pass by and say, no, no. <laughs> you know, go from ooh to ah. <laughs> That's what we want to do. We want we want to have some positive outcome. We want your hair to be a positive vibe. Yes, right. we, don't we, don't want your, we don't want your hair to be the negative. <laughs> we don't want your hair to make someone else have a bad day. Exactly. So do 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 yourself due diligence <laughs> and follow these young ladies. Yes. Do it for me, cause I see. Subscribe to our channel. Yes. Our channels. <laughs> and turn on the bell so that you'll be notified any and every time we all upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.